Hello, good morning to everybody. In today's um, video, we are going to discuss uh, series part of the sequence and series. That is series. Series uh, the summation we can say. So different types here. So this is a series. Suppose you have to add one, 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 n times. So obviously, when you add one, 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 n times, it is similar is equal to n. But what happens when it is added? You have to add one plus two plus three plus four like this n terms. So it is the automatic progression. You have to add in. This n times. So you have to use AP formula for n terms. So what is that? Similarly, if you add, you have to add one plus three plus five plus seven plus like this up to n terms. Suppose you have to add the squares of this like this up to n terms. If you have to add one cube plus two cube plus three cube plus and in terms of this, this summation, this all summation, we can write in one uh, specific form that is called as summation. So we use the notation summation. Summation is given by this sign that is called as sigma. We use sigma sign. And for this, suppose you look at this one, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 there. So we write this sigma 1 r is from 1 to n. Means you are using this 1, 1, 1, n times you have to add. So this is equal, this is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times. And the answer for this is n. If we use any formula in this, Every formula in this, then this can be written as sigma r. r is from 1 to n. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3. And by applying the arithmetic progression formula, or it is always given by n into n plus 1 point 2. That's the formula for sigma r. So this next is sigma r squared. r is 1 to n. Which is nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square. For this, the answer will be n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6. So, we can say this is the n terms, n terms, like this. Next, sigma r is from 1 to n, n r cube, so it is 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, like this, and last will be n cube. So, cubic expression is there, so answer for this is n into n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square. So, whenever you want to find the summation, the summation is nothing but Summation is nothing but we can say the sigma of the general term of that particular series. If you want to find the sum n terms of that, so it is always given by this. So in this case, suppose 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, you are to find, so you are to find general term first. And then you have to use this formula. So these are the standard formulas we have to use, we are going to use. This 1 by 1 is 1 plus 1 plus 1, we are added as n time. The same formula, the same formula can be written as sigma k, r is from 1 to n, if you add k, 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 n time, k, 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 n times, that will give you k into n. So this is the standard formula to find the sigma notation. So based on these few questions, this is the formula for sigma. Sigma summation, summation is what? Just addition of the given particular sequence. But obviously the sequence follows some rules, some pattern there. Here it is simply added 1, 1, 1, so answer is n. Here we are adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to sum of n natural number. This can be given as sigma r. So that is n into n plus 1 upon 2. 
here sum of so squares of the n natural numbers is given by n into n plus 1 upon 2 n plus 1 upon 6 that is sigma r square it is cube of the sum of the cube of the n natural numbers which is n into n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square so this is the direct formula which should be can apply and the proof of this uh, it is given in the text we can refer that but based on this we will solve few questions now so few questions from the textbook the textbook question yes so based on the series uh, summation questions the exercise 2.6 first question here yeah, sigma r is from 1 to r uh, 1 to n r plus 4 into 2 r minus 1 so the basic rule we are applying always we multiply this two if we multiply this two what happen r will be divided into 1 so we have 2 r square minus r plus 2 r minus 1 which is sigma 2 r square plus r minus 1 so this is nothing but 2 sigma r square plus sigma r minus sigma 1 where r is from 1 to n every time so now we will use that formulation here so sigma 1 that is n sigma r square n n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 sigma n n n plus 1 upon 2 sigma 1 is n so like this you can simplify this this is cancel here so 3 LCM is 6 so you have to multiply this with 2 again or 2 n This we have to multiply with 3. This we have to multiply with this and that is 6. Finally, so it is 6 and then you have to simplify this by taking common. So it is a common there. L, n upon 6 is common in all. So taking n upon 6 as common, this become this is equals to n by 6 is taken common so 2 into n plus 1 to n plus 1 3 into n plus 1 minus 6 that is n upon 6 2 into 2n square plus 3n plus 1 plus 3n plus 3 minus 6 so that is n upon 6 2 will multiply so that become 4n square plus 6n plus 2 plus 3n minus 3 so that is finally means n upon 6 4n square plus 9n minus 1 so that is the answer so answer is n upon 6 into the bracket 4n square plus 9n minus 1 so this is the answer for this question exercise 2.6 first question here the next question question number 4 so in this we have to find the sigma r is from 1 to n in this bracket, so it is a sigma of whatever the answer of this, the sigma of that. So the sigma sign is for the whole bracket, that means you have to find first the sum of this, and that formula we already know what is the sum of this. The cubic expression is n sigma r is from 1 to n is equal to what is this? That is r into r plus 1, r into r plus 1 upon 2 the whole square upon r into r plus 1 like this so r into r plus 1 will get cancelled so that will cancel and one term will remain so it is sigma r is from 1 to n r r plus 1 upon it will be 4 because 2 ka r into r plus 1 cancel but the square is there so this 2 plus square 4 will be there and therefore it is 1 upon 4 it is sigma r square plus sigma r now this 1 by 4 is for both 
R is from 1 to n, like this. What is the sigma r square formula? So sigma r square formula here, it is n n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 upon 6. n n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 upon 6. What is sigma r formula? It is n n plus 1 upon 2. So taking LCM here, 1 by 4, n n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 upon 6. So LCM, we multiply this by 3 n. Like this. And then n into n plus 1 is taken as common. So it is n6 also. So it will be 1 upon n into n plus 1 upon 24. 6 into 4, 24. So what is the 2n plus 1. Or either the capital is 3. So that is 2n plus 4. So n into n plus 1. 2n plus 4, 24. Again, 2 common. 2 common and cancel with this. So it is n into n plus 1, n plus 2 upon 12. So that is the answer for this. So this is a very simple. We are defining the summation of this and then you have to use in sigma notation. So sigma notation, sigma means the sum. Sum from R is from 1 to N. That many term, that summation is there. Yes, yeah, so next question, question number 7 in this. So, in the 7th question, find the sum of 70 square plus 69 square plus 68 square minus 67 square plus 66 square minus 65 square like this to the last line it is 2 square minus 1 square. If you observe this, the first thing uh, here is the sum number square and the second one is odd. So we'll subtract, we'll make it two separate brackets for this. It is better, that is 70 square, 68 square, 66 square, like this, the last one will be 2 square. And the next bracket, you can see the minus is taken common. So 69 square plus 67 square plus 65 square like this, the last will be 1 square. Now there is 35 terms will be in one bracket and 35 terms is in the second bracket. Total terms are total terms are 70, out of which 35 is 35. Understood this one? So now this is the summation of 35. So what is what is the uh, what is the nth term? We can write this in the reverse way. That is 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square up to 70 square minus 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square up to 69 square. Like this. So here we can write this as sigma r is from 1 to 1 to 35 because n is known to you. And this is the even number. So even number we can say. Even that is always we express as 2r, so it's 2r plus 1. Here, 1, so it is sigma r is from 1 to n, n is 35 again here. 2r minus 1, 2r plus 1. That is the possibility of the uh, even number. So it is 2r minus 1 substituted here. So when r is equal to 0, it is uh, there is right. But when r is 2r plus 1, r is 1, it is 3 will come. 2r minus 1, when r is 1, it is 1. So 2r minus 1 is a correct one. So 2r minus 1 is a square. Because when the first number is 2 minus 1 to 1 square, the last is 35, 70 minus 1, 69, so we call it as well. Same means here, the 2, 2 square, and have 35, that is 70. So this is exactly not the matching is there. Now since both our R is from 1 to 35, 1 to 35, we can take it's common also. We can take it common now, and then subtract in one, uh, one sigma, because sigma number 
to value, we have 1 to 35, 1 to 35 cell, so we can take this in 1 sigma, under 1 sigma, r is about 1 to 35, so it is 2 r square plus square, 4 r square, is the square angle minus 4 r square, minus 4 r plus 1. This 2 r the whole square, so it is 4 r square minus 4 r plus 1. And then you will subtract. So 4 r square, 4 r square get cancelled. So it is sigma r is from 1 to 35, 4 r minus 1. It is 4 r minus 1. So 4 r minus 1 means it is a sigma. 4 sigma r minus sigma of 1. 1 to 35. It is 1 to 35. So for this, 4, the formula is n, n plus 1 upon 2, but here it is 35. 35 plus 1 upon 2, and here it is 35 times. This is cancelled with this, is 2. So it is 2 into 35 into 36 minus 35, like this. 35 is taken common all of this. 35 is taken common, so it is 2 into 36, which is 72 minus 1, so it is 71. So it is 35 into 71. And the answer for this is 71 into 35. 5, 3, It is 2485. So answer for this sum is 2485. So that is the way we have to solve it. Here, yeah, so next question 1 into 3 into 5, 3 into 5 into 7, 5 into 7 into 9. Up to n terms, we have to find the sum of this. So otherwise, in this type of any type of the sequence or series, the pattern is there. Then this, that is not difficult. There is a pattern. If you observe this, 1, 3, 5. So there is a pattern that 1, 3, 5 in A, B, number 1. The next term, 3, 5, 7. This is in A, B, number 2. And the third term, 5, 7, 9. That is in A, B, number 3. And this all A, B have is the common difference as 2. So the first term in this is the first the tenth term. So the higher term will be PR is equal to what? A plus R minus 1 B. So this is 2. So it's 1 plus 2R minus 2, which is 2R minus 1. In the next term, the next A B, so only the 2 is different, so you have to add 2 in this. PR for the second A B is 2R plus 1. And for the third FB, the PR will be 2R plus 3. I like this. So that means this sequence, now this sequence, 1 into 3 into 5 plus 3 into 5 into 7 plus 5 into 7 into 9 up to n term can be written as it is a sigma of TR, R is from 1 to n. And TR is nothing but the TR, TR RX term for this is nothing but 2R minus 1, 2R plus 1, 2R plus 3. Because we put R equal to 1, you get 1, 3, 5. Put R equal to 2 in this, 3, 5, 7. Put R equal to 3 in this, 5, 7, 9. So, like this, the sequence, sequence is matching. Therefore, it is sigma r is from 1 to n, 2r minus 1, 2r plus 1, 2r plus 3. Like this, and then we have to evaluate this. So, that is very lengthy evaluation, but we are being at easily still. Evaluation is possible. This two multiplication pass. So, that is sigma. R is 1 to n, it is 4R square minus 1 into 2R plus 3. Then again this multiply here, so it is sigma 2R into this 8R cube minus 2R, 12R square minus 3. So that is 
sigma AR cube plus 12R square minus 2R minus 3. Like this. At R cube, 2R. So that is nothing but 8 into sigma R cube, 12 into sigma R square, 2 into sigma R minus 3 sigma 1. So when we can apply the formula for the sigma cube, that is n n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square plus 12 as square the formula n n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 sigma add the formula n n plus 1 upon 2 the sigma 1 is this 2 cancel 6 cancel 2 this is 4 so cancel is 2 so it is 2 into x square n plus 1 the whole square this is 2n 2n square plus 3n plus 1 here it is cancelled so minus n square minus n and this is minus 3n minus n square minus n minus 3n so it is 2n square n square 2n 1 plus 4n cube plus 6n square plus 2n minus n square minus 4n which is finally 2n cube 2n plus 2 4 it is not square 2n plus 2 4 plus 4n cube plus 2n square plus 4n cube plus 6n square plus 2n minus n square minus 4n so this 2n plus 4 and if you remove 4n cube this become 8n cube square men this this and this so what is this it is 7 n square because 2 plus 6 8 8 minus this becomes 7 n square and a in the beta b 2n minus this so that is minus 2n like this so 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 7 that is like something so this is the final answer for this expression here Yes, so next question, question number 9 here. So what is that? 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 up to n terms and upon 1, 2, 3 like this up to n terms. The ratio is given as 100 upon 3. Then the question is what is n? So it is quite easy here. Yeah? General term, general term here will be r into r plus 1 because 1 into the next is 2 into 3. So it's put by r equal to 1, so it's 1 into 2. And I will do it is 2 into 3. Similarly, it is theta theta hai, so it is sigma r. It is sigma r from 1 to n. If we have to solve it separately, we have to solve it separately, separate numerator, separate denominator. Don't do it common together. So that's very crucial in this. So we can solve separately. So what separation will be given to you? Sigma r square plus r. Sigma r square plus sigma r upon sigma r like this. Is equal to 100 upon 3. This from r is from 1 to n, r is from 1 to n, r is from 1 to n. Now sigma r square formula is n n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6. Sigma R formula is n n plus 1 upon 2. Nichiwala n n plus 1 upon 2. And that is equal to 100 upon 3. So n n plus 1 upon 2 is common and cancelled from the numerator from both the side. So n n plus 1 upon 2 cancel out. 
from numerator as well as denominator. This term is cancel, cancel here. So n plus 1 upon 2. So what is remain there? 2n plus 1 upon 3. Either budget a, either budget a. And that is equal to 100 upon 3. That gives you 2n plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 100 upon 3. So that is 2n plus in multiply over 6n. This is 4 into 3, so it's 12. So 6n is equal to 8 in the It will be 2n plus 1 plus 3 upon 3. So it is upon 3 by there. So this 3, 3 cancel over. So it is 2n plus, it should be 2n plus 4 is 100. Yes, so it is 2n is equal to 96. So n is equal to 48. So the answer is n should be equal to 48 here. So it is n is equal to 48. That's the correct answer for this. Yes, so one more question. So this is a proof that sum. S1 is the sum of first n natural number, S2 is sum of the squares, and S3 is the sum of the cube. So we know solution as per given condition. S1 is sigma r from average 1 to n, which is n, n plus 1 upon 2. S2 is sigma r square from average 1 to n, which is n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 upon 6. And S3 is sigma r cube, average 1 to n, which is n, n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square. Now, if we take LHS here, so LHS is 9S2 square. So 9 into S2 square, so 9, n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6 that square. That becomes 9 upon 36, so it is, so 9 upon uh, 36, which is 4. We can say n, n plus 1. 2n plus 1 into 9 upon 36. We get this plus square and this is Alex. So this cancel out here, so it's become 4. And therefore, we can write this as n n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square. That is your ellipsis. Now we will move to the right hand side. So right hand side is S3. 1 plus 8 into S1. So S3 here is S3 is n n plus 1 upon 2 the whole the square. Okay? S1 is n n plus 1 upon 2. Like this. So it is n n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square, it is as it is. Now we have to simplify this, so what is this? It is 2. This is cancel here, so it is 4. So 1 plus 4n square plus 4n, which is nothing but, <coughs> it is 2n plus 1 the whole square. So it is 2n plus 1 the And that can be a club with this, so therefore it is n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square, and that is equal to LHS. Hence proof. Because that is there. So after simplifying, we get 2 n plus 1 the whole square. And this club with this in this one square, so that is a left hand side. So it is very easy to prove. Yeah. So that's it. That is all about the series part of this circuit. The sequence and series we complete here. Yeah? So you yeah, enjoy, I'm sure you may have enjoyed this. So just go through all the videos properly. 
and uh, make your notes, try to solve the sums, numericals which are not done uh, from the textbook and then also solve few MCQs for the practice as well. So, and uh, in MCQs I will discuss now one more lecture, the shortcut tricks, the next lecture. Thank you.